There's going to be no free crown. Any, any candidates here for the martyr's crown? There's going to be no free glory up there. I'm embarrassed to death when I read Hebrews 11. I can read Hebrews 11 every day of my life and weep. I can turn my Bible over at the back. I can read the map at the back of my Bible and weep. Look what the Apostle Paul did. He had no plane, no jet plane. He had no automobile. Look how it, look at his missionary journeys. No wonder he says, in perils of the deep, in perils of my countrymen, in perils of labors, in prison, in the first 50 years of Wesley preaching, the men that joined up with him as preachers died at the average age of 32 years of age. They were burned out for God. America is not dying because of the strength of humanism. It's dying because of the weakness of evangelism. We're not taking people. We take people to the cross. We don't get them on the cross. The devil says, come down from the cross and save yourself. Why do you weep while other people are laughing? Why do you fast while other people are having a whale of a time? It's stupid, it is, except in the light of eternity, it is eternity. The holiest man that ever lived was the most abused. Do you expect better treatment from this world than he got? What are you shrugging up in that little church for? Because it never hurt you to go. Because nobody fasts, nobody prays, nobody weeps. Your preacher's dry-eyed, he talks. How in God's name do they do it? You see, you have to account for your time. So here you've got three. You live 24 hours a day. You work eight, eight hours a day. You sleep eight hours a day. What do you do with the other eight? Put that into years. You live 60 years. You sleep 20 years. You work 20 years. What do you do with the other 20? It's not how long you live, it's how you live that matters. There are more decisions for Christ these days and ever in history, but never a fewer disciples. They were stoned. How long did it take them to die? They were destitute. These are saints. These are men filled with the Holy Ghost. They, not one, they were stoned. They were sawn asunder. According to tradition, Isaiah was hung this way with his feet strapped up there and sawn down the middle. Not with an electric saw, get it over with a wooden saw. It was sawn in pieces. The best title for the Church of God today, in my judgment, is this. We're unbelieving believers. Somebody someday will pick this Bible up and be simple enough to believe it, and when they do, we'll all be embarrassed. Can you remember the last time you didn't go to bed because men were dying without Christ? Can you remember the last time you pushed the pledge away and said, No, I, I want more time with God? Have you geared your life like that? Are you living, trying to be spiritual and living on the carnal plane? Are you trying to be spiritual and living in time? Are you trying to be spiritual and keeping up with other people round about? Listen, when God can men, get men that are sold out to him like Paul was sold out to him, we'll move our generation. God is saying, who will go for us? He looks for a man, not a cherubim, not a therapist, not a half man and half deity. He looks for men. God takes men, not money, not methods, not machinery, not movement, men. When I can say, Lord, I'm concerned, I'm concerned, I'm, I'm speeding on to eternity. Look at my ministry, look at my life, look at my fruitlessness, look at my dry eyes, look at my poor spirit that has no ache in it. The men that die by the million, they're damned and lost. Look at me. Supposing you just ask God to show you one thing this afternoon. Well, you, you'll get round, but you don't wear worldly things, you don't do this, you don't do that, all right, you'll get by. Listen, will you tell me this? Will you tell me, and if you tell me this, I'll tell you how spiritual you are. Will you tell me how much you pray a day?